everybody. All right, Coach Lawrence, uh, first things first, how you doing, man? How, how's your November so far? It's good. I mean, it's nice out now. We started off with like a blizzard here. It was like down to 10 degrees, like boats were going to freeze. Like it was a little scary. And now we're back up to, I'd say it's like 75 out right now. It's awesome. Yeah, it's about 65, 70 degrees here today. And uh, I was able to take my classes outside. It was awesome, man. It was like Really nice day. Yesterday was a really nice day. Tomorrow on the weekend is supposed to be really good. We did get snow last Sunday, um, but we didn't get like what you guys got because I saw the college game day when Michigan was at Minnesota. You guys oh. had, had some snow. It was not. It was not pretty. Not pretty. So um, okay. So national middle school duels coming up. Not this weekend. The following weekend. How many years has Pinnacle been coming from Minnesota to the national middle school duels? In Ohio? Oh. Maybe this four, maybe this is five. I think I went, Paulson went, I went, and then I'm going again this year. So, yeah, four or five, I guess. I, so, I, don't, I don't remember that well. Okay, I think it was Paulson last year. You were the year before, what, from what I remember, like doing interviews. Yep, yep, that could be. Okay, when you look at it, you guys bring, like, really nail squad when you guys do this. Um, it's a highly competitive tournament. Um, it's a dual tournament, and they do a really good job of not having wasted rounds and downtime. What is your favorite thing about bringing Pinnacle and bringing – sometimes you bring – if you if you brought multiple teams to the event? No, we always bring one because we don't – we try not to recruit too much. You know, we just take our, our Pinnacle squad. It's a good time for the kids to get together. It's a well-run tournament. You know, you wrestle, 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 done at 5 p.m. You can go eat dinner. You can – hang out with the parents a little bit versus, you know, some tournaments, you know, you're not, you're not wrestling for a while and you're there till 8 PM. You're there till 10 PM. And it's just, it's draining. So this is kind of a bing, bang, boom, you know, which is kind of nice where you get to relax uh, at night a little bit. It's very well run. So it's different this year. Uh, everything's different this year. It's 2020, right? It's COVID. Uh, sure. They had to jump venues a couple of weeks ago. And they moved to an indoor soccer facility in the neighboring city of Perrysburg, just south down I-75. Um, now it's going to be a little different as far as, you know, how many parents can come in and watch. Yeah. It's just different. It's 2020, right? Them being able to be nimble on their feet. Was there any doubt that if you guys could come, you were still going to come? And, and, and I know the venue is different, but are you guys still excited about, you know, how, how they still run the tournament? I don't matter where it's at. You know, I mean, it's – it's a, it's a good, it's good competition. It's good for, for the coaches to be able to see the athletes. I, we actually, well, you know, I'll jot down notes on the competition. What are the things that are working? What's not working? Not just for us, but for, for other clubs as well, man, we got to try to evolve all together. So you got to kind of see what's going on. And this tournament brings in some of the best competition in the country. So you can really see, you know, what's happening at a middle school level wrestling you can almost kind of you can if you if you look deep enough and you care enough you can start to see some of the trends that'll that'll start to hit in the future i think but you there's like, no go ahead go ahead no nope, i'm just saying it didn't matter where the venue's at man we we're in as long as the tournament's going on we're in is paulson in is it going to be a, a double a double shot you and paulson or is it going to be you and coach Ryder no. been there in the past Yep. So it's just me right now. It's a little different with COVID. So our practices are less. So we have like five practices on Sunday. So we have to keep some people back to hold the fort down a little bit, you know, with, with only like, you know, like 16, 17 kids going out of, you know, 300 or so. Um, we got to keep some people back to run some practices. So I am, uh, I'm, I'm heading there for the two day event. Who is the coaching staff currently at Pinnacle in Minnesota? So right now, full time, it's Brandon Paulson, Jared Lawrence, Jake Short. Jake Short's new the last couple of years. Scotty just does a does an awesome job, man. Truly amazing how much he is is helped out and sponging everything in, man. He does an awesome job. And then we have uh, Mac Ryder who helps out. You know, Jake and Mac. Almost everybody wrestled for the Gophers. Mac was like a three time All American. He helps us out on Sundays and whenever else we need him, just because he has another job. Pat Smith, who is currently um, high up on the Greco national team. He helps us out whenever we can. We have a guy named Tyler Shilson that's back from college um, that's been helping us out quite a bit. So we still try to 
get as many coaches as we can with still trying to, um, you know, keep our numbers down. Short is one of the greatest athletes in the history of Minnesota high school history. <laughs> All, I, I'm not making this up. This is a real thing, right? Was this it ten, tennis, baseball, wrestling? Is that the three? Am I right? Football, football, tennis, football. football. But he did, he did about everything. He is. He's a, he's a phenomenal athlete. I, I challenge him every day. I'll be like, I saw like uh, Kyle Dake doing these like knee jump swing things. And I was like, hey, Jake can do that. Jake, have you ever done this before? Nope. I was like, try it. He nails it. Freak. Yeah, he, Total awesome. freak. Yeah, he's a, he's a great asset. That's awesome. And I'm glad that you guys, you know, you continue to build the staff out there. And I mean, it sounds like there's like room for growth and, and what is Pinnacle's, like, club base? What would you say? Because you said there's year-round guys, there's in-season guys. It kind of fluctuates, right? Yeah, the youth is really, like, our, our elite youth group is the group that we all, like, really enjoy because you get them year-round, and it's just one solid process. You know, the high school kids, you have a preseason where you got to kind of you, – you, you try to push them and get them as ready as they can for the high school season, and then you, you barely see them throughout the season. You know, it's like one practice – a week it's fine tuning stuff not much and then you go to the postseason but it's half folk style cram course and then you switch over to freestyle and greco so it's a, it's just a different it's a different model right so there's that going on we got our elite kids we got youth kids we got younger youth kids so there, there's a lot of different things going on and you got guys on all the big time teams you got guys that are at penn state you guys got a lot of gophers. You have, you, it's not like you're just feeding the gophers. Because I think no, that's a lot of people think. Like, you got guys yeah. on Penn State's team. We, yep, yep. There's two, Brady Berge and Greg Kirkland, that are, um, you know, at Penn State's team. They're doing well. Taylor Vents, you know, he's at Nebraska. Griffin Perriott is Purdue. I mean, there's, there's people everywhere. There's people at NDSU. And then the gophers, I think, uh, I think last time I checked, there was like 15, 15 uh, guys on their roster. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's easy because it's close and a lot of them want to close. And I'm not saying all of them are all scholarship guys, you know what I mean? But um, it's just it's nice to it's just nice that they're wrestling. Will Minnesota have a high school wrestling season this year? I, and I know that ultimately like crazy stuff can happen. But in your opinion, from what you've seen, will there be a season? I think so. Let's, let's stay optimistic here. I mean, they, they they are having duels and things like that. I don't know what tournaments will be like, but. You know, I think the way that live streaming is happening, that's what it's about. You know, you can, you can keep people safe without keeping the stands. That The people in the stands are what is everybody's worried about, right? You can't have an event with thousands of people all real close to each other. So let the athletes compete, man. Let's live stream this thing. Minnesota State High School League, I'm saying it now. You guys want to make some money? Let's live stream the state tournament. You will make money on it. You don't have to use the Excel Center. You don't have to have a big budget. You can... You can have it at a high school that's cheap and live stream it and everybody will want to watch it. You can actually profit on it. Okay. If somebody wants to join Pinnacle, is there still room to join Pinnacle? And how many sessions do you run? What are the days of the week? Could a kid even come and join your club anymore? Not right now, just because of COVID numbers. We're, we're booked. I mean, we do five on Sunday, three Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then two on Saturday. You are a full-time so it's five, five, three is eight, 11, 14, uh, 17, 19, I think 19 practices a week. How does your body feel? It's tired. It's tired. And we have to kind of rotate a little bit. Like, uh, like we can't do three, you can't do, you can't be at everything. It just body can't like after you have a couple, three practices a day, you're just exhausted. It's just, and it's, it's different than just sitting around, right? There's not a whole lot. It's not like we normally do where we have four or five coaches in. I mean, so there's a lot of times there's only two, maybe three coaches in. And you've got you to be pretty active with it. So it's, it's, it's exhausting. The downside is you don't always get to see all the athletes. And normally you're at almost every practice. But now just because of COVID and restrictions, it's just kind of a pain. How far is the facility from where you live? I'm 25 minutes away. And how long, is, how far is like Mac and Coach Paul? Still water, right? So I'm close to, I'm close to Wisconsin. Okay. I can zip over and spotted cow if I need to. Oh, okay. I'd love to have you bring me some of that, but is there going to be any fat man sizes and pinnacle gear making it for me finally? I'm just curious. I'm a, almost like I ask every year if any double X's are going to make it. 
Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna look at everything we got and I'm gonna bring you uh, a big wardrobe of whatever I. Oh, I'll wear it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll wear it. Makes I'm sense. In. I'm in. You bring me some X style double X, whatever you got. I will wear it. Do you got anything else for me? I know you got to get to practice. No, I think this is awesome. I think you're doing an awesome job, as you always do, of just keeping wrestling afloat. We are looking forward to going to the middle school national duels, bringing our best. Kids are just got done with football. They're, they're, they're just ready to compete, man. They just can't. They're ready. All right, Coach. Get to practice. I'll probably send you a nudge reminder on fat man sizes for pinnacle games. I'm on it. <laughs> hey, thank you for the time. I'm not even going to talk to you after this. We're just going to cut off and you go to practice. I appreciate it, right? Right on. See you, Zeb. All right, see you later. I appreciate it.